Now, because society is breaking down, the beta male is taking the back burner to the alpha male. And basically, the aloof asshole is winning the reassuring nice guy. But oftentimes, the media portrays the beta male as being a complete needy dork who oftentimes asks the girl why he can't be with her. And then she says, because we're friends. I.e. Zack Ryder from the WWE and other similar characters. But this isn't a fair comparison. You see, if we were to make the perfect analogy between alpha male and the beta male, without the contrast of the society's alpha-driven culture, you just have two both indifferent, unneedy, for pussy, strong, powerful guys. The ideal beta male would be Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Where he's the nice guy, he's the protector of the universe, he's all smiles, he's laid back, relaxed. Typically a happy-go-lucky guy. And very, very reassuring. The ideal image of an alpha male would probably be Vegeta. As you know, Vegeta's the Ba I'll Kill You Prince of the All Saiyans. Aloof asshole who says whatever the fuck comes into his head will fuck you up. And... Yeah, he's also the perfect idea for an alpha male. So, that to me is the perfect alpha-beta analogy without all the societal constraints where the alpha will be put down in some places or the beta will be put down in some places. These are both their own ideals in their field of game. So, that's going to be my video. That's going to be my thoughts. And I'm going to go outside in a few. Peace out, guys.